today I wanted to show you how to make these cute little treat boxes. They measure two inches by two inches all the way around. So they're super, super tiny, but they worked perfect this year for Valentine's Day. I just put little candy hearts in there for my son. Uh, and there's a little stamp here that says, will you be my Valentine? You could use these for any, any occasion really. Birthday party favors, anything like that. Well, to get started, you need a six by six sheet of paper. And you'll want to, well, you can use any six by six sheet, but if you use a 12 by 12, which I've already cut this one, if you use a 12 by 12, you'll get four of them off one sheet of, sheet of paper. So that's a really good deal. So you want to get six inches by six inches. There you go. Next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to score the paper. Um, I use the Martha Stewart scoreboard, but you can use, if you use your cutter, your paper cutter, whatever it is that you use to score, you can use that as well. Okay, so now we're going to score at 2 inches and at 4 inches. Then turn it over and do 2 inches and at 4 inches. So I don't know if you can see it, but now you have all the creases on there. And you want to crease down your score mark, score mark, score line. Okay, so now you have this. Next thing you're going to want to do is you want to take some scissors and you want to cut up two inches on the score line and then two more inches on the score line right next to it. Then you flip it the other way and it's the opposite side. Do the same thing. Two inches and two inches. So now your paper should look like this. Okay? A couple different ways you can do it. I had to make a lot of these for church and school and all kinds for Valentine's this year. So I used the Scott Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. This stuff worked wonderful. Um, but it did, it did kind of give it the wet look. I don't know if you can... I mean, it was okay. It wasn't bad at all. But um, for time's sake today, I'm going to use the ATG gun. So what you want to do is your outside one, you want to put your adhesive, okay, that corner, and then all four corners. Go ahead and you can put your adhesive on all four corners. After you've got your adhesive, you want to fold up the centers and you fold up the side. And this is very sticky adhesive, so you want to make sure it's all lined up. There we go. And There you go. So now you've made your little box. Now, a couple different things that you could have done. You could have put the ribbon on before you sealed the sides and stuck the ribbon in between the flaps so you couldn't really see it. But is what I did was I took a six inch piece of ribbon um, and these are not my good scissors. Okay, so I took a six inch piece of ribbon and if you take it, put it on the inside and I use my Tim Holtz uh, tiny attacher, I think it's called. Anyhow, this thing is wonderful. You just staple it and I put the nice side on the inside because you are going to see that. And then you do that on both sides. And then you attach that as well. So this is what you've got. Okay, now you want to take your um, scrap paper is what I used. Um, you can use any kind of paper you want, but scratch paper is where it's at today. Now you need a one and three quarter inch by one and three quarter inch squares. So 
There we go. So we need four of those squares. There's one, two, three, and four. Okay. So now you have four squares. You want to go ahead and put your adhesive on all four of those squares. Again, you can use the glue or the ATG or whatever your personal preference is. Now, you do want to kind of make sure you get it on all four corners of each square just so it doesn't lift. I noticed mine did that a little bit on some. Okay. do is you just take these and you just line them up, center them on each of the baskets. And there you go. Now you can do anything you want to decorate it. All I did was um, have a little circle um, heart stamp that I actually got at the dollar bin at Michael's. It's this little one right here. I just stamped it on a piece of red paper, used a, a circle punch, an old school circle punch, one of these. I uh, punched it out, stamped it, and then we used a pop dot and just set it on the side. Then you can add some paper or whatever, whatever it is that you want to add, and you've got yourself a quick easy little treat bag. So anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you back here again soon.